Gen 2, you can now create customized procedure templates to help streamline adding and managing your procedures. Procedure templates can be found under Settings, and the Templates section. Within the Procedure Templates window, you'll see a list of all current templates on the left and be able to add a new procedure template using the Add button. In the Edit Procedure Template window, you'll be presented with all procedure fields that can be templated. Procedure fields that are not able to be templated will not display. At the top of the template, you can set a name for the template and enter the appropriate procedure name to be used in this template. You can then save additional information into certain fields in both the Booking and Theatre tab and the Operation Notes tab. The fields you'll have available under the Booking and Theatre tab are Procedure and Pre-op Notes, Hospital, Inpatient Nights, assistant and anaesthetist. You can also add the billing items that are typically used for this procedure. The hospital, anaesthetist and assistant fields will present you with a list to select from, taken from the relevant area of your address book. If the option you need does not appear here, this should be added under the address book first. Under the operation notes tab, you can enter Findings, Technique, and Post-Op Orders. You can choose to enter data into as few or as many of these fields as required. Once you're happy with the information you've entered, you can then save the template. Existing Proteasia templates can be used as a base for further templates by selecting this from the Insert Template drop-down in the New Procedure Template window then making any appropriate changes to the base content of this template for your new template. Once your procedure templates have been set up, these can be used when creating procedure records. At the top of your new procedure window, you'll now see an insert template dropdown. Select this and select the template you require. You'll be presented with a confirmation prompt, reminding you that any of the listed fields will override any information that has already been entered into the new procedure record. If you're happy with this, simply click Insert. You can then make any further changes required to the procedure or simply go ahead and save the record.